What's going on guys? Bobby with Consumer Time Capsule back with another review for you here and today we are here to look at a re-release of products that we actually called for on a prior review. We're going to do things backwards and I'm going to show the From the Archive product Whoa. first. It's the first time we've done that. So these are Kellogg Snackums from 2000. Uh, it is a product we actually showed on a prior From the Archives feature but we had to do it for this one because it's literally the exact same thing that you're seeing in the Kellogg's Jumbo Snacks. It's a larger version of Fruit Loops and Corn Pops that are put into a canister and designed to be more of a snack. Last time they did have Rice Krispie Treats as well, although that's not included in the current incarnation. Um, these ended up lasting through the end of 2001. There was also eventually a cinnamon variety uh, that I don't have in my collection, unfortunately, but it doesn't relate to today's products anyway. So, uh, not at quite as big of a deal. These are no longer in canisters. These are the four new flavors of Jumbo Snacks. Actually, one of them is a truly returning flavor, and one of them is an adaptation of the last one. We have Apple Jacks. We've got Corn Pops Caramel Crunch. Unlike last time, these are not regular Corn Pops. They are caramel flavored. We've got the return of the Jumbo Size Fruit Loops. And we have got Kellogg's Frosted Flakes Inspired Tiger Paws. Nice. So these are the Apple Jacks Jumbo Snacks. You can see these that the... Guys. Yeah, I know. Are, are those guys great or what? Uh, you can see that these are quite a bit bigger than traditional Apple Jacks. I'd say at least double the size. I feel like during the first incarnation of the Fruit Loop one that they said triple the size. I don't think it's quite triple. But uh, Ryan, I saw you grabbed a couple there. Definitely a good Apple Jacks flavor. That said, because they're so big, you don't realize how stale Apple Jacks are when they're fresh. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, especially when you dou douse them with milk, it doesn't really spotlight that even a fresh Apple Jack is a little bit off. And going in alphabetical order here, we've got Corn Pops next. These are the Caramel Crunch variety. Once again, about double the size of a typical corn pop, and they look to have a lot more, uh, a lot more coverage. Like there's there's a a gunk on the outside. Ryan, you want to try some? There is a uh, there's a like a frosting on the outside. So so they don't look much like corn pops. Uh, not just in terms of their overall size, but also in their physical appearance. They do taste like corn pops, though. Really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. They taste a lot like corn pops. Huh. I've never just eaten a pop. They're a lot more caramel. You got to have your pops. pops. So, well, that said, they're adding caramel flavor to it, but there's definitely that good, um, that good corn pop base. I would say if you like corn pops, you will like these, but it is adding in a caramel flavor. That makes it different enough to justify a second product on the shelves and not just a larger version, version of an existing product. So these are the Fruit Loops Jumbo Snacks, the returning snack'em. And you've got all the colors that you've come to expect from Fruit Loops. And it doesn't look like they've made any changes to the recipe, just a change to the size. Um, once again, I think it's about double the size. I guess that that's just the... Um, the standard adjustment that they decided to make. Tastes like Fruit Loops. Mm. <laughs> I mean, I guess how you feel about those is going to depend on how you feel about Fruit Loops. Let's face it; it's it's not uh, it's definitely not reinventing the wheel. But I mean, look, these are 50 calorie packs. That seems like a very reasonable snack. I mean, even for somebody like on a diet or something, like 
Who knew like cereal could be a low-cal snack? And that brings us to the fourth flavor of jumbo snacks. These are the tiger paws featuring Tony the Tiger's uh, paw print. They look kind of like mini Cheetos paws, which is very cool. Mm -hmm. All right, let's see how these taste. These are good. They taste a little bit like Kix cereal and a little bit like, um, did you ever have triple cereal mm -mm. in like the mid nineties? They taste a little bit like that where, I mean, it's a, uh, it's sweet, but not overwhelmingly sweet. I mean, if you've had Kix, which I think pretty much everyone has, you kind of know what, like, when you pop them in your mouth, like, they have that sweetness to them, but they still kind of weirdly feel healthy. These are like that, only they're paw-shaped, so they're better. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the gimmick grade of the Jumbo Snacks, like, look, this is something that we called for. Really, the only major change that they made was instead of canisters, they put them in boxes. And as a collector, you guys know I love saving flattened boxes because they take up no space. I do like that they have four as part of the installment. They have some re returning flavors, kind of returning flavors, totally new flavors. I'm gonna give the gimmick a eight out of 10. You know, very solid uh, offering from Kellogg's and one that I hope maybe get some future additions to the line, although I'm not holding my breath on that. Uh, so these were $3.49, or excuse me, $3.99 per box on sale at Kroger. The full price is $5.49, which seems like way too much. Way, way, way too much for just a box of snack cereal. <laughs> like buy almost two boxes of cereal instead, right? Um, capsule countdown, ranking the four flavors. Um, for me, I think this was uh, a fairly open and shut case. I'm gonna give fourth place to the Apple Jacks. To me, these just tasted the stalest in terms of their texture, and I do blame that on the kind of Apple Jacks brand. Uh, it does have a good kind of artificial apple cinnamon flavor that we've all come to expect from Apple Jacks. If you like Apple Jacks, you might have a slightly higher opinion than I do. Nothing radically wrong with them, but uh, texturally just not my thing. Fourth place on today's Capsule Countdown and a 5 out of 10. Uh, third place, I'm going to give to the Fruit Loops. Look, I do like Fruit Loops. I wouldn't say that I love them. Fruit Loops do benefit from milk, I think. I think this was one where, as a, as a, a snack that I'm going to go to 12 times, I don't know if dry Fruit Loops are really that filling that role for me. <laughs> so I'm going to give it a 6 out of 10 in third place on today's Capsule Countdown. Second place, I'll give to the Corn Pops Caramel Crunch. Uh, it's a good balance of the Corn Pop flavor that you would get in the regular cereal with an added addition of caramel. Uh, Ryan, what did you think of those? Because you say you don't really eat Corn Pops. They're pretty good, huh? Yeah. Um, they're a different texture, a crunchier texture than normal Corn Pops. Because um, corn pops are almost like a popcorn texture. That's how they got the name. Um, these are a lot crunchier, crispier, and I think just lend themselves to a better snack um, with a good taste. So I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10, second place on today's Capsule Countdown. But the winner today got to be the Tony the Tiger, Tiger Paws. That's our winner, first place on today's Capsule Countdown. I'm going to give them a 9 out of 10. I think this is a really great snack. This is perfect for kids. Like, this is just more so than any of the others combined. This really feels like a kid going to school snack. You know, like, it's just, it's, it's small, but probably not too small. Uh, it's got the perfect amount of sweetness without being radically unhealthy for you. Um, I, like, I like the shapes. I, I like the texture. I like the taste. Really just an overall well-designed product and a welcoming addition to the line. Stay tuned next Monday for an all-new CTC review. Number 349, we're getting to 350 really fast. It's going to be the Pineapple Fanta Snack Pack Gelatin. 
and the, what was it? Uh, Starburst, fruit by the Starburst Foot. Fruit by the Foot. Candy in fruit snack form. You can't beat that. Of course, until next time, I will miss you until I see you. Awesome. Cheers.